much for being here for a live thrift haul. I've never done a live thrift haul in this room, and I've never done a thrift haul that will probably take me this long. Because as you know, I've been doing YouTube for about, well, you may know, I've been doing YouTube for about four years. Most of my thrift hauls have taken place in this room. But as of late, people have been commenting that they see orbs flying around my room, that they see orbs flying through me. I have not even, I didn't even know what that was. I literally had to look up the word to figure out what it was. I had no idea. So, um, I have probably a month's worth of thrift items in here, and we're gonna go through them, and we're just gonna go about like we normally do. Only normally when I would do these videos in here, they really would run me 45 minutes to 30 minutes, and then they would um, they would get edited by me, so I would stumble and you know like we do when we go live. But I really wanted to do it live this time because I was getting a little leery. Whoops, there's some fly in here, but it is summer in Texas, so anyway. Um, but normally I would um, edit them and everything because they were so long and I didn't know how to upload the longer videos until I started doing it through my computer so now I can do the longer videos and then I just didn't know if people like the long live videos and everything but I have so much stuff in here that I thought I would get this out of the way today tomorrow I'll probably do a live jewelry haul unless you're willing to do it later I don't know you guys let me know in the comment section let me know if you're here let me know how the stream sounds and all because see I already lost my glasses because uh, I've never streamed from this room so oh my gosh and they're dirty too but I just wiped them off so I'm glad you're here thank you so much for being here this channel uh, started as just a thrifting channel I used to show you all my thrift hauls I was always a reseller been selling on eBay for over 10 years I'm a power seller there I sell on Amazon Etsy been selling on Etsy for a long time I've been on Poshmark for over four years so I do a lot of reselling but I do a lot of thrifting I'm also a teacher so you might hear me talk about that I do ride-alongs I do jewelry and drawings and that kind of thing so if you're into that go ahead and subscribe now hit the like button as soon as you walk in the door I think you'll enjoy the content here and I think you'll want to come back so be sure and do that let me just check and see if anybody's in the chat if I open up another window here All right, looks like Harley Grant's here, Marg West. Hey, how are y'all? Frugal, Gal, Paula B, Kath, Crafty Reseller, Susanna Burgess. And um, Harley Grant, if I can, I think I'm going to make you a moderator if I can because I don't see any others there, and that way you can zap those trolls if they show up, please. And I think I'll do that with Frugal as well. Really appreciate you guys joining me tonight. I know there's a lot of other live shows, but it's getting later and later. And I promised you guys this yesterday when I was doing my other live. Uh, but I had some guys working on the yard, and they were knocking at my door. And then my daughters came, and they brought my grandson. And uh, so I had to hang up quickly with that one. But I'm glad you're here. Let's get started, guys. All right? All right. I got some, I don't know how much these were, 50 cents, I guess. Some fancy chopsticks. I can't eat my sushi without my chopsticks. And I like to eat my ramen and my, even if it's just, you know, ramen from a bag. I like to eat it with my chopsticks. So I got some of those. I think I paid 50 cents for them. And sometimes I forget to bring them, so that's why I got them. I got a gorgeous little milk glass and mug. I love the smaller mugs. I don't know why. I always either serve myself like half a cup of coffee if I have a bigger mug because it gets cold so quickly. So I really like this one. It is a Fire King milk glass. It's got a little tiny stain over here, but my mother was telling me that a little bit of, uh, what did she say? I think she said some Ajax will take that out. So I'm going to use that to try to clean that up and this was only also about 79 cents because because i get that discount it was mark 99. all right so i don't know people like i said we're seeing orbs flying around the room i never noticed it till i started watching the videos in replay and people were telling me exactly where the the uh activity was happening it is dark finally it took forever to get dark it just got dark like five minutes ago okay i got some 70s looking uh, 
salt and pepper shakers. I love anything 70s. I put it up on Etsy, it goes quick. And these are, I think they're marked Japan. So I know they're definitely 70s, super cute. They still got salt and pepper in them too. <laughs> I don't know how flavorful they'll be. Sorry for stepping out of the, out of the screen, guys, but some, a lot of my stuff is out here. Okay, then guess what I found? I found these Frank Lloyd Wright mugs, and I had found one about two years ago, and someone asked me about it in one of my hauls, and then they didn't get back to me about it, and that's fine. But I thought these were so pretty, and I think I have it up on Etsy for $20, but now I have three, and I'm going to hold out, guys. One of these days, I'm going to get the four. Isn't that fabulous, though? Frank Lloyd Wright, amazing. Amazing mugs. I just love them. And these were marked also. These mark $1.99? No, 99 cents. So again, I got them for about 75 cents or so. All right, I'm going to try to get through the top of my piano here. This is my piano room, and I keep a lot of stuff that I'm showing you right here. I'm going to get through that because then I'll forget what I where I left off. Here's another really cute. It just looks like your typical little scrub holder or whatever little, you know, the scrub holder. But this one is signed RK. I don't know what that stands for, but uh, I'm going to put that up on Etsy, too. I thought that was super cute. Kind of different, too, with all those spots. And it's kind of heavier. I don't know. It just feels a little bit better than some. Let me see who popped in the chat so I can say hello. I'm never here at this hour. Hey, Debbie Mitchell. How are you? And uh, Let me see. Makeup Zombie's here. She's finally finished with all that beautiful jewelry she showed us tonight. Oh, my goodness. That was such a great sale. Uh, Elizabeth, thank you so much for putting that on. Juanita Bargainer is here as well. Michelle's World is here. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Kim Lucas, Marge West, thank you so much. I appreciate that compliment. And Guillermo, how are you? Guillermo, aren't you the one that saw one of the orbs too one time? I don't know. One of y'all did. About two or three people told me about it. Okay, some Patron. A little sifter. Is this called a sifter or a sniffer when you when you drink that good stuff nice and slow? I don't know. I forget what they're called. But I got this for also about 75 cents. I thought it was cool. Some people really love their Patron. And I don't know. If I don't sell it, I'm going to just put it up on my bar. I don't really drink tequila. Unless somebody buys me a bottle of the good stuff, I may drink it. But I don't really buy it. Okay. I found some Hello Kitty stuff, guys. This, I believe, I don't even want to open it. I think it's just a little pad, but this is like the, the stuff that comes straight out of Japan, and it sells really well. I actually sold a planner, with, and I think what sold the planner on, on Poshmark was the fact that I had some inserts like this from this Hello Kitty brand that's pretty much issued in Japan only. Super cute. I got two of those for 99 cents. So that was cool. All right, let me work, make my way through here. I got a Mallard plushie. I'm always in and out of the plush world. You know, they sell really well. I do really well on them, and then I buy more, and then they don't sell. <laughs> but then I find irresistible ones like this. And my grandson is really into plush right now, so I figure if it doesn't sell, he can add to his collection. See, now I'm going to start with the Snickles. So I got that. Here's another plush I got. This one was also about, oh, this was really cheap because it was 75% off. Mark three. I think I got it for like a quarter. But I got this one because my daughter is an elementary school teacher, and I helped her decorate her room. This is only her second year teaching. And we put the zebra, big giant plush zebra on the Z end, and then we're going to put the alligator on the other end. She didn't have anything on the other end for a whole year. She was waiting for me to thrift it. They're so used to me having, you know, the stock that they need. <laughs> Honestly, they're like, Mom, find me an alligator. So there I go. All right, I found a case from Joan Rivers. She's really kind of a cult following right now, guys. People have requested that if I ever find any Joan Rivers jewelry to let them know. So I thought, well, I picked that up. I think it was 50 cents. It was marked 99 cents. Pick that up and see how it does because people really like Joan Rivers. And uh, she put out some really good quality stuff, guys. 
over at QVC. I mean, I remember when she would do the show, showcase her jewelry, and it was amazing, and it was expensive. I'm talking $80, $90 for a pair of costume jewelry earrings. So I think they are becoming rare. Okay, here's another 70 salt and pepper shaker, and it's a little frog. My, my daughter-in-law is a, is a researcher, actually, and she put frogs on her wedding cake. It was a it was a frog couple. So I'm thinking of giving them to her. I think they're super cute. But if she doesn't like them or doesn't need them, because she she's pretty much a minimalist, I'm gonna sell them on Etsy. I think they're super cute. So that's another salt and pepper shaker. Let me say hey again in the chat, guys. Aren't those cute? I like those. Hey Kim Riggs, how are you? Yeah, I, <laughs> thank you for being here, Kim Riggs. I appreciate it so much. Darlene Buckland is here, Caffeine Addict. Thank you very much, Caffeine Addict. I think you're the one who told me the first time about the orbs, but several people told me about it too. And uh, someone said they saw one flying through me. I don't know, but I did see the ones trickling down behind me when I saw the replay of the video. I, of course, didn't notice it. And then I thought it was my big light. I think my husband said, it's probably that big light you have in front of you because he got me this huge light for doing my videos. And he said, that's probably what it is, or it's a car running through the back, or I don't know. And then finally he said, you know what? It may be true, it may not. Nobody knows, so who knows? All right, let me see. Junk Lady's here too. Hey, Junk Lady, how are you? My lights are going on and off. They sure are, I see that now. Why are they going on and off? That's crazy. I see that. Sometimes though the camera plays tricks. Like if I'll put up something dark or a different color, it might do that. I'm not sure. But I don't know. Is it but can you notice that it's not the lights like the lamps? Correct? It's just like the entire lighting in the room. I'm like a little chandelier here. Anyway, all right, let's keep going. Somebody said that orbs can't hurt you, so I'm just curious to see if we all see them live. All right, I got a really cute learning is weightless, is weightless a treasure you can always carry easily. I love these cards by, is it uh, Inglebright? I forget how to pronounce that. Mary Inglebright, correct? I love her artwork. I used to subscribe to her magazine. And uh, I cut out, I still have the, the paper doll. She put a paper doll in every issue. It was so cute. Because, you know, I used to play with paper dolls. People don't play with that stuff anymore. But I did, and I collected them. I thought I would give them to my daughter, but she was never interested in them. Here's another cute set of cards that I got. They were marked 99, but these will pretty much come out to about 75 cents. With uh, They're blank, but they have a nice Easter bunny. And these are from the MD Anderson Cancer Center, where the kids actually do the artwork. They usually do Christmas cards, but I think these were blank. I love them. And it were, they were made by a girl named Rachel H12. Love, love, love these cards. I never pass them up when I see them. And I've told you also that I never pass out the napkins. Pass up the napkins because they also sell really well. I think I even run some of these up on Amazon. But if they don't ring up for a good price on Amazon, I put them on Etsy. Because people use them for art projects like decoupage. Look at that pretty one there. This one is super cute. And then this is Captain America. This one. All right. And then I sell these uh, as well. I think this, I should have saved this for my book haul. I was going to do a book haul, but whatever. This I got for about $1.75. And it is an old bartender guy. Benson and Hedges, though, guys. Do you remember those cigarettes? Those of you that are of a certain age. The Benson and Hedges brand. So this is, I got it just because I knew I was going to love the font and everything I found in there. And the recipes for these cocktails that, you know, we used to buy illegally probably when we were 18. And, well, you know, you, were, you could be 18 and then they raised it to 21 and then they raised it back down to 18. I don't know. What is it now? 21 again, right? Something like that. But I got this little book. I love it. And then... Oh, I always get mugs that have anything to do with gas and oil as well. So what is this creature called? A Pegasus, correct? And I think it's mobile oil. So um, I got this one. 
I didn't, um, I, you know, I haven't listed it yet. All this stuff has not been listed, guys. That's why I was like, I have to do this now. So a lot of people ask me about things that I put up in my halls. This was 90 cents. Look how cute this is. Walgreens. It's got the little, like the little motor thing there. Pestle and, what's it called? Pestle and motor, I think. I think it's so cute. I've already seen some of these on eBay going for about 25. But if you ever see anything in my halls, let me know if you're interested in them. Because nine times out of 10, I have not listed them yet. I try as hard as I can to get them all listed and uh, I just can't work as fast as, and I took, let me see, I didn't go all last week to the thrift store. I could not believe it. All last week I stayed away and I vowed to stay away till June. So we'll see how it goes. Hmm. Excuse me for drinking out, but when I go live, I get a little nervous and my throat gets really dry. All right, let's see who else popped in. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I do have an electrical problem. That's crazy. I think I may because, yeah, it's an old house. This house is like, I think it was built in 78 or something. So that's quite possible. Okay. Yeah, I think they are going. To... Yeah, I think the part about everything going dark, I think it is the camera because I've experienced that before. So nobody has really told me anything about that being strange, but... The other stuff that people saw, I mean, it was it was definitely just like a little, kind of almost like those little lasers that w people use to play with their cats, like that. Only I actually saw a little stream coming down from that little um, golden color balance or whatever it's called back there. Yeah. Okay, look at this cute little percolator timer. Isn't that the cutest thing? I don't know why I got it. I think I got it just because I like percolators, and I like this one because I don't really use a timer. I use my phone when I need a timer. But it's kind of convenient to have one in the kitchen. I thought it was super cute. This was marked $1.99. So I got it for like $1.25 or so. All right, I got a little wooden car for my grandson. He loves cars. I got an old school ruler made in the USA because I always need a ruler to measure the jewelry that I sell. And I like having one in every corner of my house. I got some sidewalk chalk. Oh, these things were like 50 cents, the ruler and the chalk. All right, you want to see some clothes now? Let's see some clothes, guys. Oh, my goodness. I got this gorgeous Apartment 9 leather. It even says lambskin on the label. I've never heard of Apartment 9. I don't know. I'm assuming it's probably a mall brand. It's a short jacket. It is tailored. It's got a little bit of a flare here. Excellent condition. Little tiny pockets in the front. Super, super cute. I only paid, well, I think they sell the jackets for 10, but it was 75% off, so I think I got it for like $2. I love it. And like I said, I don't even know, I didn't even think that Apartment 9 would make a jacket of real leather. Because I was thinking it was kind of like a Forever 21 brand. I don't know, I really don't. But um, it says lambskin, genuine lambskin. That's that really, really soft kind of a glove type leather or a handbag leather. It's just so pretty. So that was a score for sure, Goodwill. All these clothes were mostly from the Goodwill. Okay, then we got a cute t-shirt because this dog kind of looks like mine. My dog is a mixed Chihuahua, Corgi or something, Corgi or something. So he kind of reminded me of that. I'm gonna sell it, I don't know what it means or whatever, but I thought it was super cute. And I get the t-shirts the for about $1.50. Usually that's what I pay for the t-shirts. I got a Texas shirt because I'm making pillows and things out of them for my grandkids because this is my son's um, alma mater. So that's why I got these. And these, again, were about $0.99. Cents. I got some Rag & Bone, fancy schmancy brand. It sells really well on Poshmark. And uh, let me show you the label in case you run into it. Yeah, rag and bone. Hope you can see that. Can you guys see that? This is a really pretty wine color. It's also got a little logo in the back pocket there. And these I picked out of the bins that were just coming out. What I mean by bins is the Goodwill when they're restocking, especially on a Friday night. That's when y'all should go. Really is a great time. Nice straight leg. 
they pull out all the new stuff from the back and they put a different they don't put the tag that's on sale so if they have the green tags on sale everything they're bringing out is a red or a yellow tag or something else so I paid about five dollars for them but that's how they do it you know they're just constantly replenishing the store and that's where I hit it all the time I'll go through the rack so that I can make sure I do get that 75% off on their tags that are out there but then I come back around like every probably every 15 minutes to see what else they're pulling uh, this is a Stella McCartney tennis skirt I think it's for Nike no Adidas Stella McCartney for Adidas it could be a yoga skirt too I guess it's super pretty kind of flared really nice little shorts under there so really nice tennis skirt or yoga skirt and these I think they sell them as a athletic tops and bottoms I think they're normally about four or five dollars let me see if anybody else popped in thank you guys so much for being here don't forget to give me a thumbs up as soon as you walk in the door before you leave if you gotta go don't forget to do that don't forget to subscribe hit the bell as well so you can be notified for future videos Michelle world I think I said hello to you thank you for being here JC more designs Kohl's oh is that what apartment 9 is Kohl's thank you for letting us know but I guess it's uh, I don't know I don't know what you guys think about Kohl's, but that's a really nice jacket. I really like it. Okay, some of this Laurel Birch. This is a little cosmetic bag. It was 99 cents. I got it for about 75. It's really nice. It's got like a expandable as well. Looks like it's a little dirty, but only from being at the thrift store. It doesn't look like it was even used. In the inside, it's clean. It's just the outside has a little bit of yeah and it's even lined in plastic so it's definitely a cosmetic bag really cute I just sold that Laura Birch tote bag I don't know if you guys saw my sales for eBay I sold it for $42 it's a really good price on that and I only paid like a dollar for it as well so it's very collectible okay more hard goods I got this I don't know what is this is it for jewelry it's kind of a enamel looking plastic stackable I wanted it again for my inventory for jewelry and uh, there's three of them so I thought I would put either earrings or brooches in here things that won't get tangled you know I thought this was really really nice and this was marked six so I think I paid about four I really like it I like things like this that don't take up a whole lot of room and then I, I can just like you know put maybe all silver earrings or all pearls or that way I have them somewhat organized because I'm doing pretty well I'm not losing things like I used to I really used to lose a lot of things that I would sell and it would take me hours to find it and that's such a waste of time it really is and time is money all right and go oh, look at this this is so cute Burberry of course this is going to my grandson this is new guys and I paid like 99 cents for it and it is Burberry for kids there's a label there I'm telling you this Goodwill is amazing it is designer city and I think I've showed you from the footage from there it's where I've been getting a lot of my jewelry jars and bags but not all of them but it's definitely where I've picked up things like rag and bone and Dion von Furstenberg and that kind of stuff so I love it I love just the little pocket there of the Burberry plaid whatever it's called somebody told me what it's called the other day and I forgot leave it in the comments if you remember so when I if I ever run into it again I'll list it okay keeping with the creepy theme here's a creepy bride but I can't resist dolls guys I used to collect dolls I sold them all I had a one-legged nun and I mean I just love dolls I really do and she was only $3.99 look her price is right there on the cheek she was only $3.99. She's so 60s. Look at that cute little hairdo. She is missing a shoe, and I looked all over the toy department for that shoe. I did not want to go home without the shoe. But, uh, yeah, nice wedding dress, too. Very 50s. And I do well with dolls, guys. I, I don't want to keep her very long. She, she does look creepy. Look at that face. But um, I, I've sold them for $30, $40. I had a ballet doll that sold for about forty dollars i had another really pretty almost 40s looking one she had the little well no 50s didn't they wear the, the little seam stockings in the 50s i think they did 
And this one had the seam stockings and Chevro shoes. But yeah, she's definitely going to go up on eBay. And uh, look at that, the veil and everything. Because she's about 20 inches tall. I don't know. Maybe I'll find her a shoe first. I'll bet I can find a missing shoe and dress her up and then sell her. So I got her for about $2 with the discount. All right, creepy doll. I got this cute scarf. I love it. It's from Lush. I had to dig where it was from because it has kind of, well, it's toys. That's what it is. It's toy scheme. And, um, and then it says something about protecting the environment for future generations or something. It's not silk, but it's really cute. And it's got the, the little duck on wheels, the pool toys. I don't know what they call these little push toys, but I remember those too. I don't remember playing with them, but I remember some kids would have them, the babies. And wagons. It's just so cute. I think I paid about 50 cents for scarves. Guys, let me see who's in the chat again. I hope some of y'all have hit the like button as soon as you walked in. Looks like 44 are watching now. Great. Owen Wolf is here. You think she's pretty? I think she's pretty too. I love those 50s hairdos and, and makeup that they put on the dolls. They're so cute. Okay, who else is here? Lynn B., how are you doing? I'm glad you're here as well. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, another brand. I kind of stumbled upon this brand about four years ago. I think it was a handbag. I researched it. Handbags always go for no less than $40, but I found some shoes, and that's Eric Javits. This is kind of like a brand they would sell at Neiman's. They were Mark 6. I got them for about four really nice slip-on sandals. This is an all-leather shoe. Really pretty summer color. And I only buy shoes if they're not too worn out because I'm not going to sit there and clean them unless they're, you know, Louboutins or something. But see, the heels are nice. Not too worn. And these were, these were in the weirdest places. That's why I look everywhere. They were in... You know how the end caps of the aisles you usually have like, like cosmetic bags or old phone cases that nobody uses anymore? Hey, Rachel, how are you? That's where those were. And even the lady at the front says, oh, you got a score on those, the cashier. I said, yeah, I think so. I thought those were really nice. Okay, I got some Ralph Lauren, two king pillowcases. I do not have a king size bed, but I'm gonna put them up on Amazon because they have a barcode. I don't think I've even checked it. Like I said, this stuff has been here a month. And these were marked four ninety nine. I got them for about three fifty. dollars Really nice. Uh, I guess this is a herringbone. Is it herringbone or houndstooth? No, I think it's a houndstooth. I don't know. What does it say? It says plaid, timeless tartan plaids. And um, I don't know. They were marked $13.49. They're, oh, it's called the Church Hill Multi. King pillowcases. So that was pretty good, Ralph Lauren. If not, I'll give them to my sister if they don't sell. She does have a king size bed. I don't. All right, what's this? Oh, this is from Chicago. This is a brand new World Series t shirt. And this one was $2.90, basically $3. This was not at the Goodwill. This was at Valley Village. Really nice. I thought it would sell. I don't know. Maybe the, you know, the frenzy. If you don't get the frenzy when it's going on, sometimes you lose out. But my son is from Chicago, so I may just take him that if I don't sell it. And I will be going to Chicago pretty soon. These are Via Spiga. This is a beautiful color. And I love the high. What do you call it? I forgot what they call this part of the shoe. Let me know in the comments, guys. I need to know so that I can describe it accurately. But it is the most beautiful coral color. I want this color in a lipstick. And these were from the red tag that day. So I got them for about two. They weren't eight. They were 75% off. Maybe even less than that. You guys do the math. I don't teach math. And the, aren't those cute though? And look, even the heel is kind of sculptural. Not super high, but just, I mean, it's a sexy pump. It really is. I love it. I think it's super cute. So. That's what I do with the shoes. They're not that high. Some of them are not that high at the Goodwill. They're pretty reasonable usually. 
uh, with the discount, but I look for the 75% off tag so I can get them, you know, no more than four or five dollars because you never know what I'm going to pay for them, what I'm going to sell them around. All right, here's another pair of shoes. These are really small though, but these are Kohan and they're really good condition. These were also about three dollars. Actually, I think they're marked five. They're tiny though. They're like a size five. Mock croc black. They look super comfortable. I wish they would fit me because I would have kept them. Patent leather mock croc. And again, that's, no, not Kohan. These are Clark's. Clark's. Okay. Now, I think I got all the hard goods there. Uh, let me show you some more clothes. And then I'll do some more hard goods. Uh, this is a J. Crew. And this is called the Painter's Tee. Really cute, long sleeve tee, kind of textured. Gold buttons there. Pretty color as well. Kind of a peach, coral peach color. All right, and then here's some more shirts. They're falling off the hangers. This one is called Incident, or I don't know what it's called, but it's mine anyway, so I'm not going to sell it. This is a peasant shirt. I think I told you guys that I have, last counted, 11 white peasant shirts. I just love them, and I really like the way this one's kind of off the shoulder a little bit, a nice little bell sleeve but kind of a three-quarter sleeve so i love that i got that one and then here is a really pretty one that's so cut around the neckline that it falls off the hanger and this is a dion von furstenberg and here is the label here it's so cute i'm gonna sell this one i'll probably put that up on posh because um it won't fit me I don't think I could wear it anyway. It's really low all around. It's low in the front, low in the back. Very pretty pattern. It's kind of a tie-dye pattern or a batik or what's it called? That little wax treatment they do for dyeing fabrics. Batik, I think. This is a beautiful blouse. And again, the uh, price point on clothing is usually $3. I don't go over $3, maybe 4 at the most, but um, that's really what I wind up paying at the Goodwill anyway. Lately, they've, like I said, lowered their prices on dresses and such, so I'm feeling pretty good there. All right, I'll drop the things everywhere. See what happens in life. Okay, I think this is Rhapsody. I think this is the brand Rhapsody. Could be wrong. No? Okay, this is also really cut up shirt it's 100 percent silk at least it looks like i'm not even gonna put on the hanger it won't stay it will not stay on the hanger but look how pretty that is it's a really pretty summer top can you see it i really like this one too i don't know what they call this sleeve almost a cap sleeve but i'm not sure pretty pattern though and a very pretty purple coloration there all right, here's a good brand. I doubled it up. I got both of them. This is Vince. These are gorgeous skirts. Gosh, I wish I was 20 years younger if I still put these on. They're by Vince, V-I-N-C-E, and I got the same skirt in green and black. And it's got like that little fold-over drawstring waistline. And then the other is a green khaki color. So I got both of them, and... Um, I believe I paid about three dollars each, and I will put these up on Posh. I'm gonna probably I think these are also um, linen silk blend, so I'll put these up pretty high. I'm thinking thirty-five to forty dollars. Probably take a best offer, of course, but uh, that's what I'll start them out because I love this. There's a girl at school, uh, one of the teachers. I call her a girl because she's probably twenty-five, and she always wears pants that have this kind of a waistline. It looks so cute. It is so cute. All right, this is a rocker tee from the BuzzFast. I don't know who God's Mac or whatever or in 25 and all of these people are, Bush and I don't know, but this is a big festival that takes place here in Houston. And I don't know what year this was. Does it say up there? But it's got all of the, the bands in the back and uh, I thought I'd put that up for about $15. That's usually what I get for, for the rocker tees. Again, that's BuzzFast, and that is a huge 
to do here in Houston Rock Music Festival. All right, this is Jose Altuve, and he's the one that we all fell in love with because he won the championship for the city for the Houston Astros, and I thought this one would do really well because it's from his camp. It says baseball pro camp. And it's got a little bit of the stitching from a baseball there. Again, this one was about $2, and I'll probably put $20 on this one because he is definitely the favorite these days. All right, I got some Lululemon leggings, just some short ones. Super small size, though. I think these are a zero. They, look, they even look like for kids they're so small. But aren't these cute? A little black and pink. And this is where you'll find the sizes on the Lululemon, in case you don't know. They're usually hidden in a pocket. All right, look like it said two, it looks smaller than a two. So zero. Can you know it's zero? I think it was zero. Okay, now some shorts. I hope we can get through this in an hour, guys. I'm sorry, it's taking forever. Um, I think this is Rag and Bone 2. No, I can't read it. Where's my glasses? Gosh, see what happens when you're alive. I hate wearing my glasses in case you haven't noticed. All right, tell me if that's his rag and bone. <laughs> I think it does. Oh, here's a leather patch in the back too, but it's blank. Anyway, it's just a really nice leather skirt. Super cute. About the same price as the other things, about $30. And uh, here's my glasses. Under the pile of stuff. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, now, cute top. This is by Boggs Soul. And um, I don't know, it has like two. Anyway, it was tagged, so I, gra I grabbed it. It's really soft. I thought it was soft surroundings. Really nice little top pockets. Kind of a mauve color. New with tags. It's got that little embellishment with the buttons and the cowl neckline. Put that up on Posh as well, and I'll put it up now. I don't wait till winter time. I got a Trump t-shirt because controversy sells, and I'm all about that. And this one says, see, and I can't tell if this is pro or against, pro Trump or against Trump. But it's got, it says Trump, and then it's got a little parody of his hair, and it says there will be hell to pay. And there's a little play on words there with the word to pay. So I grabbed that because using Trump sells. Okay, I love this vintage sweater. This is by Turbo Mademoiselle Fifth Avenue. It says it's rayon, but look at the embellishment on it. Isn't it gorgeous? Pearls. And this was 75% off, so of course I grabbed it. I believe I paid about a dollar or two for it. This is all pearl embellishment. Isn't that cute? Let's see if anybody else joined us. We've got Scary Sky. And um, Carmen, how are you? Oh, okay. Yeah, love the vintage stuff. It sells well. I put it up on eBay and Posh. Not Posh. eBay and Etsy is where I'll put these sweaters. They go pretty well. All right, here's that word, that name that people have trouble pronouncing. I do too, but... I know a little Italian. It is Ermengildo Zegna. Ermengildo Zegna. And everybody knows that the suits sell for a lot of money. Well, we're going to see what these polo shirts will sell for. I got two of them. And I only got them for about $2. And they're in excellent condition. I got two, as I said, right off the bins coming out of the Goodwill. So I got a navy and then kind of a reddish color. Really pretty. Again, if you run into this brand in a jacket, you're supposed to pick it up. Ermengildo Zegna. Ermengildo Zegna. Can you see it there? Super nice though. Gosh, it feels great. I mean, you can just, you can feel the quality on these pricey items. You really can. Okay, let's see what else we have in the clothing. We're almost done, guys. Are y'all still with me? Sorry I keep stepping out. <laughs> like I said, normally I would have uh, edited this video and everything, but I wanted to go live and see if any of those pesky orbs come around. Maybe I shouldn't feel that way. I don't know what to feel. I really don't. 
But okay, I love Willie Nelson. This one says, have a really nice day. So I could not leave that behind. I got that for, let me see, where's the tag now? I don't know, I took the tag off. Okay, this one was about 99 cents because when they put the tag here, it's cheaper than when they put it here. Because when they put it here, they think it's a better selling t-shirt, like a Harley Davidson t-shirt or something like that. But a few things slipped into the cracks now and then anyway. Here's a cute dress I got. This one is also Vince. And it's just kind of a casual, almost feels like a raw silk. I haven't checked all the content. It is lined. It's a drawstring, like a cobalt blue. So there it is there. Just a really casual, kind of a casual dress. I mean, I guess you could dress it up for the office. You put the right jewelry on and all. Got pockets too. It's very sheer though, so you definitely have to, have to layer that up. But there's that brand again. Really highly sought after brand, so look for that. Vince. Okay. And we're almost, we're almost done, guys. I just have some hard goods to show you. I don't know if I showed you all of these Legos. I think I showed you this one last time. These are all brand new, but they're restricted on Amazon. Some of them were, some of them I listed. I think I may have showed you this one already. But I did not show you this one. This is Women of NASA, and it's sealed, factory seal, super nice. Um, this one is restricted on Amazon, though, so I'll have to put it up on eBay. And I got that for about four. It was marked $5.99. I love it. I may save it for my granddaughter. That might make a really nice Christmas gift, don't you think? Unless you're only going to be three. But, you know, you don't see those things all the time. Okay, then I got another factory seal from Monopoly, and I should have put this up before today because a lot of people were buying World War II and, and stuff, all kinds of memorabilia. I sold a knife today, though, that had the Marines of Iwo Jima. Anyway, it's a Monopoly World War II. This is a great addition, I think. And I think I already scanned this up, and I think it's, it's selling for about $45 on Amazon. Of course, Amazon will take about 10 of that. So it'll still be a good profit. I think I paid about $2 for it, so that was not bad. Then I got a box full of Legos, and it is full. And that was 75% off. So it was Mark 9. I got it for about 5 And it's got a lot of small ones. So I'm saving those for my grandkids, but when they get older. Okay. Then, hold on, let me see if I have anything over here. No, I already showed you these cards last time. Okay, this is the last of it. Guys, I can't believe we got through it. Oh, no, let me show you this fabulous thing. I bought this for my daughter because she's a total renaissance dragon and crystal nut. And I fell in love with this thing. It's got two dragons. She's going to put some of her... Um, Plants. She's been into plants lately. She's got a lot of plants growing in her room, succulents and such, and this is perfect for it. It's just got some felt feet there, and I don't see any kind of a signature. It's probably handmade, probably from a Renaissance festival or something, but I thought it was so cute, and I got that. Let me see. What did I pay for this? Probably $3. Isn't it pretty? What's that in the middle there? Is that like an apple? To me, it looks like an apple. Or maybe it's a ball of fire. I don't know. Hey, Vanessa, how are you? Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, and it's super heavy. And I said, let me just haul it and then you can have it. And it's been sitting here literally a month. I love this. Yeah, so she's going to put some kind of succulent or something in there. Oh, I did get these too. I love my CDs. I was trying to lull my grandchild to sleep last night. Um... Well, they wanted me to put him to sleep. I didn't want to. They're like, oh, he has to go to his nap or whatever while they went swimming. And I forgot I had Green Day going on. So American Idiot started blasting. And I didn't lull him to sleep. It actually, <laughs> it actually got him dancing. But I got these. I get these for about 99 cents also with my discount. I love to buy CDs there. I have a CD player. And then, of course, I put them in my car as well when I don't want to be fiddling with my playlists and stuff. And then I got some Van Halen as well, 1984, and another Van Halen. 
Okay, I also got some books that I'll show you in a book haul. And the last of it, guys, I got these three. Oh, gosh, there's something else. Here. I got a, a DS Nintendo case. I think it has the stylus in it also. It does not have the game, but these cases sell well as well. So I got that. And then I got all of these Lego storage cases, which I thought were so cool. And these were marked three, so now for about a dollar seventy-five. And they are the Lego brand. I've never seen them, but this is a great idea to get rid of all those cardboard boxes, I guess, that you wind up, you know, storing your stuff in. This one has a little bit of marker residue, but I think I can get that off. And of course, I grabbed all three because they were there. And then some red ones. All right, guys, I think we made it. I'm so happy. Now, tomorrow, I can bring you the live, a live jewelry jar, unjarring, because it's getting late. And I'm sure you don't want to follow me into the other room to do that. So we'll do that tomorrow. I'm going to be off tomorrow, and I'll be able to hang out with some people that uh, work from home and, you know, are there in the daytime, I hope, or you have the day off like I do. Let me just say hello to everybody in the chat. We got Donna Bowen. And Bumby's DIYs. Do you have a channel DIY? Put your information, guys. If you have a YouTube channel, let us know so we can scroll by your name and uh, we can subscribe to you because God knows we need a, uh, you know, your feet needs to be freshened up every now and then and get some, some new videos to look at. There's Velvet Sunflower as well and Grace Lopez. Thank you so much. I took a long 60 years to grow this hair color. <laughs> And I finally let it come out and see the sun. Okay, Purple Lover 7, how are you? Yolanda Solis. Hi, Miss Yolanda, how are you? Scary Sky, I think I said hello to you, Miss Sky. You have a little Lego land going on. I know I do. And I have more. I have a train set in this. I have these two bamboo wicker trunks that you've probably seen in my halls because everything, like I said before, in this room is, is pretty much thrifted. And that trunk is full of toys for the kids when they come. And uh, I do have an entire train set that moves. It's like electronic and it is uh, battery operated actually. It's a Lego, it's so cute. And um, my, my husband and my grandson put it together. A few, well, he put it together for my grandson. My grandson was able to turn it on and off. It was so cute, we love it. I can't stop buying those toys. You know, you find, I mean, I do tell myself, no, you have, they have enough, they don't need any more. And then I'm like, well, I'll buy some for here. Oh, I think I found a mug, guys, that I didn't show you. I may have showed it to you. No, I think I did show you this one last time. See how I have to clean up the little uh, owl? I think I showed you this in the last haul. I love this one, too. I can't resist the mugs, as you can see. Mm. So anyway, guys, promise me you'll join me tomorrow for that live and jarring jewelry jar, jewelry. Is it a jar? Yeah, it's a jar. And I still have some bags from the ones that my son sent me. Two of them, I think, that I've already edited and I have to upload throughout this coming week. And I will be going to Chicago in June, the first week of June. Finally, the last day of school for work is June 4th. And my son bought me a ticket for, I think, June 6th. He just sent me the itinerary. So, you know, I'll be going to visit my beautiful new grandson. We just had a new born. He was born about two weeks ago. I'll get to visit with him. And of course, I'm going to go grab some more jewelry. <laughs> that's the only place I want to go. Aside from eating the hot dogs and the pizza, that's the only thing I need to do in Chicago is go thrift because I love it there. But I want to thank you so much for being here, guys. I really appreciate you very much. Please leave a comment. Let us know anything that you know that I didn't know about what I presented today, brands or whatnot. And uh, don't forget to like the video before you leave. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you can be notified when I do go live again. I really like coming in in the evening as well. I think a lot of people are here, and it's a lot of fun that we can just relax and talk. And uh, next time I do want to bring you just another regular thrift haul where we can, you know, showcase the, the things a little bit slower, and you can comment on them and everything. But as I said, we had been having some what I want to call paranormal. I don't know. If you believe in it, I don't know if I believe in it, but I know that people pointed out orbs in my room, and I told you about pictures that I had in here that um, 
that I thought, you know, maybe that had something to do with it. My niece, my niece's pictures were over here in a kind of a shrine like area. And I kind of moved things around there. I took away certain things. I put other pictures mixed in. But everything here is thrifted except the piano. That's the only thing I bought uh, retail that's in this room, I believe. No, and a few things like the dec decor was given to me or bought somewhere else. But a lot, I would say 99% of the items in this room are either thrifted and mine or thrifted and I'm hauling. So that's why I wanted to have it live to see if we saw anything. I'm going to watch the replay. I want to thank you so much for being here. I hope I can sign off without fumbling. And I'll talk to you really soon. Come back and see me tomorrow. Uh, hopefully around 12 or so. You guys let me know it's a good time for y'all in the comment section. And I'll come on live and we'll do a live jewelry jar and jarring. And um, see what we find in it. All right. Thank you again for everything, guys. I appreciate it.